today I'm here to show you the new range of electric showers, the E-Series. This model we've got here is the E-Motion model. Uh, some of the features that it has, a digital readout at the top, it has three different power settings and your temperature control. The product is a multi-fit product, which will mean it will have a right-hand side, left-hand side entry for both electric and water. And now I'm going to show you how to retrofit from one of the old quartz electric showers, which we're going to be removing and fitting one of the new E-Series showers. Before removing the front cover, just make sure that the power is isolated and so is the water supply. And we have two fixing points at the top and one at the bottom. Once these have been loosened off, you can remove the cover and you'll have your electrical junction, which you can just simply unclip. So our electrical cool connections on the right hand side and our water entry points on the right hand side. Uh, which will be suitable for the E-Series. So we'll remove our electrical connections. And this small cover plate. Now with the quartz, if you do want to double check that the water connection uh, the water has been isolated, you can just simply push up the solenoid so make sure no more water comes through. And using your adjustable and your spanner, So here we have one of the new E-Series showers. Now to get to it, what you need to do is remove this casing first, and then you have fixing points here, 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 and here. Once they've been loosened off, that will allow you to remove the front cover, which will have two electrical connections, which you just have to simply unclip. So be careful when removing the cover. What you then have is your two water connections and your two electrical connections. So here we have the multi-fit options. So by removing these screws here to remove the cover plate, what all that will then show you is your right-hand entry point and you've got your right-hand electrical connections and then through here, your left-hand side electrical connections and water connection. Now, what you do basically have is a blanking plug. Once you've uh, removed this circlip, pops off, cover it over the other side and push the circuit back in. And what that allows you to do is adjust the entry point. So what we're gonna be doing then is, as the shower we've just removed was right-hand side entry, we're gonna be using the right-hand side. So after loosening off the screws, you can pop your plate off. Then get in with your new nut and olive onto the outlet. And we're just gonna simply loosely tighten this up, level the product and mark off our uh, entry points using a pencil. So this utilizes the teardrop shaped um, fixing points, meaning you can just pop a couple of screws in, hang the unit before tightening it up fully. So as I mentioned, using the uh, teardrop shaped fixing points, you can pop your screws in so that you can hang the unit before tightening it up. So what's important to do first is to double check your water connection before popping your cable through this point here and then fit in your cover piece. Once 
Once this is in place, you can then tuck your cable down as you need and fit your cable connections. So when refitting the cover, just make sure that your control knob lines up with the spindle and then just gently connect up the electrical connections to the cover. The cover will then sit back. And then fit your magnetic colored trim. 